Today, we're building a castle. But it's tiny. I was supposed to say that. <laughs> I was too excited. <laughs> we knew with the new castle estate kit, everyone was going to be thinking big. But we've decided to start small and build ourselves a tiny living castle. Because we're contrary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> before we get going, one other tiny little thing first, because we have barely started and I'm already so thirsty. <laughs> one thing y'all don't see from us is how much water we actually drink doing these videos. <laughs> it is so much and it gets so boring so fast. That's why we were so excited whenever Era reached out to sponsor this video. Air Up is all the joys of water, but funner and tastier too. Did you know that your nose can kind of taste things? I know it's weird. Let us explain. Around 80% of what we think of as flavor is actually us smelling it. So Air Up came up with a whole new kind of water bottle that's all about scent-based taste. Say that three times fast. Scent-based scent taste. Scent-based taste. Scent-based scent taste. Scent taste. You just fill up your Air Up bottle with water, wrangle your straw into the top of the cap, attach the cap back to the bottle, add a special scent pod that's the flavor of your choice. I'm doing peach because it's yummy. Wait, isn't that the last one of those? I wanted that! Back to what I was saying. Gently pull the scent pod up until it stops to activate it, then just drink normally. The straw makes the water and the air into a package deal, so that when they both pass by the pod, boom, you're smelling with your mouth. There had to be a better way to say that. That's all I had. Let me tell you, I have my doubts, but it actually does taste like a light and tasty flavored water. And staying hydrated helps improve my focus, endurance, just overall well-being, which makes our videos and gaming better. And Arab's different flavors make sure that it doesn't feel like a chore. So if you're interested in Arab, you should check out the site today so you can spot some really good deals. The link is in our description. Thank you to Arab for sponsoring this video, and I'm going to make sure to get a refill of peach. And I'm going to send y'all back to the video. How tiny are you thinking? I mean, we can make this easy. Done. It might have to be a bit bigger than that. No problem. <laughs> okay, that's that. <laughs> in order for it to be considered a tiny house, we have to be at or under 100 tiles so i think that we should just shoot for that that's gonna be tight but doable but i want a second floor that's gonna be less doable <laughs> we have to have turrets <laughs> oh now i see how many turrets do you want as many as i can get it may be a small castle but we have big dreams i can hear some of you now do the circle walls but no absolutely not the circle walls are still super glitchy and problematically the smallest size doesn't even allow you to put a ladder in it which we're gonna need to get to the second floor that i want <laughs> yeah right now anything that circle rooms can do octagonal rooms can do better which hasn't stopped us before. And it won't again, but not today. How do you know the right height for the roof? I think it's actually easier to know when it's wrong. Like that's too high. That's too low. Like it's gotta be there. <laughs> Whimsy demands we curve this a little bit. Is Whimsy your nickname? It should be. I'm gonna use these little circles here to get a little bit of a curve. And then pressing shift C, I get even more dots. So I'm gonna do a bit more fine tuning. Whimsy is pleased. I feel like three turrets is maybe too many. Well, I feel like you're wrong. It's just that they aren't connected at all. So it's gonna make it really tough to get up into them. Like we're gonna have to do it individually. Well, 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 <laughs> well, what if? <laughs> and I'll find more words. <laughs> we'll just connect them on the sides. And this top part could just be more parapet looking. You know, that could work. And I get to keep all my turrets. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you guys hearing that? It just started raining so much. It is pouring. Is it wow. moody? Is it kind of nice? I think so. Maybe we should just add rain behind all of our videos. Relaxing rain, castle building ASMR. We're switching the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which swatch of the new stone are we into? Ooh, I like that there's a grimier version. Flowers, flowers. Okay, there was a very clear winner. I mean, like do whichever one you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It is so very satisfying to see the stone on the doors match the stone on the walls so well. Well, even in a kit, that's not guaranteed. I'm going to make the entrance here pop a bit more by adding a room out this way. And then I'm going to add in the new arch for presents. We should raise it up for even more presents. She may be small, but she is tall. A lot going on in the front here. Maybe we should do like a back exit with a platform and stairs. And ding, 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 ding. Just like that, we're at a hundred tiles. We won! As long as we stay under from now on, sure. What else could we possibly need? We'll be fine. Uh-huh. Oh no. Is this the only one that fits on a single tile? That one doesn't look so bad. What does it look like on the inside? So bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer. I think we're gonna have to look at the other packs. No. <laughs> You know, the stone on this university window is kind of perfect. And we just add what every tower needs. Dungeon bars. Or a balcony. 
I guess that works too. Oh, the new fence is exactly what we need. We've been wanting an option like this for so long. You just have to fake it with half walls like this and it looked so dumb. Ugh, I hate it. Well, <laughs> no more. <laughs> Every house is getting battlements now. I'm not sure that's gonna look <laughs> Every <quite real>. house. <laughs> well, guess we gotta add a mode. Where? <laughs> gonna be a mini mode. Oh sure, well that makes it easy then. Great, do it. Guess I walked right into that one. I'm gonna use this flatten to height tool in terrain tools and I'm gonna lower down the height like four or five times using control and the left bracket key. Then you effortlessly draw your shape. Perfect the first time every time. If you just saw a jump cut, no you didn't. <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> first draw. <laughs> I like the castle raised up too. Yeah, I think it helps it stand out. Now I just need to draw a bridge across. Why did it go red? Oh shoot, platforms add to the tile count. No, you've trapped the castle. Me, this was your idea. My idea was the boat. <laughs> it was your job to make it work. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think we can fix it with terrain tools. I'm just gonna flatten this part across the water to floor height. Then I'm gonna add some railings across, put in some floor, and thank goodness that worked. <laughs> we're free, we're free. And I love the new flooring. It's so pretty. <sighs> Agreed. And I could totally see us using it in other builds too, like bathrooms or laundries, anything. Living rooms, dining <laughs> rooms, kitchen. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make one of those, um, Shoot, I've got a word in my head and I know it's not right. <laughs> now you have to say it. Porcupines. <laughs> Port colors. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> now I wanna see porcupines up here. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo, we're in the red. <laughs> the tile alarm. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> <laughs> the tile alarm is a bit rusty. <laughs> Since we don't need this to be a functional room, a bit of a workaround is you can build three out of the four walls. Then you build a separate wall, pick it up and place it in the empty spot. So now you have an enclosed space, but you don't have a roof or a platform, which is fine. Cause if we just add the floor tiles on a fence, nobody's gonna know the difference. We'll trick them all. <laughs> That's the goal in every video. <laughs> We're just trying to trick you guys. Also another tip for you. Wow, so generous, two back to back. <laughs> it's out of necessity. Because I wanna use this gate, but it requires a tall wall height and we only did medium. But if you switch your walls to tall, <laughs> you're gonna say walls to talls, place your door, then go back to medium, it still lets you keep it. And that's two tips for the price of one. Now nah, they can have that one for free. All free, <laughs> maybe for you. What? <laughs> what you doing there? Really want this to look like a drawbridge. So I'm gonna tool mod these rain chains at an angle. Oh, wow, that looks great. I actually thought when you grabbed the chains, you were gonna go for the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> no. That's what I heard. I wish we had flags for the top of the turrets. My debug senses are tingling. That sounds painful. <laughs> there are these little golf flags that we could just raise up in here. Okay, loving it. It does make it look like an attraction at a mini golf course though. <laughs> Now I just want to make a mini golf course. The ball could like go up the stairs and straight through here and out the back. Sims, please add this as an activity. It goes without saying, I am adding Ivy. I mean, you didn't even have to say it. Exactly. I'm going to sneak a mailbox into the alcove here so it's not too noticeable. <laughs> My lord, what is that? <laughs> but that is where the carrier pigeons doth roost. <laughs> <laughs> My landscaping vision is a big, beautiful weeping willow that sweeps across the moat. This willow? That one's so ugly. Maybe the vision would like this tree better? <laughs> you know, the vision has become clear to me now. And yeah, that was definitely it. Let's get add some grounding Rockies. And I like the idea of ruins like mixed in as if there used to be like a bigger structures around here. Rocks and ruins. That sounds like a novel. <gasps> oh, book talk, do not take that. <laughs> that is ours. really good. Yay, it's a tiny castle. <laughs> I am so happy we managed to keep it under the tile limit. And I love how fantasy it looks. <laughs> Dare you even say whimsical? I dare! It is so whimsical! <laughs> That's high praise. It's time to mosey on inside. We gotta commit to the stone walls for the vibes. Everything for the vibes. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> My firstborn for the vibes. I used the clean version in here though, so it doesn't look like the moss has grown on the inside yet. <laughs> Always yet. I also think we should pop some parquet down instead of the tile for the vibes. The vibes, yes, of <laughs> course, the vibes. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way and add the knight up front. He's like the manager of the build. The knight manager. <laughs> no, no, I am cutting that out of the edit. I'm pretty sure I'm editing this part, so it's staying in. No way. <laughs> 
well, we know where the kitchen's gonna go because someone left some ivy here that we've got to cover. We're all looking for the person who did this. <laughs> she could be closer than you think. I think it was the knight. He looks oddly suspicious. It is just now hitting me that we have no furniture in this kit. Yeah, this is a straight build kit, which is awesome. I wouldn't have been mad if they had added in a couple of things. Like torches. Yeah. I would have really liked some torches. Well, this fits great here. This space is pretty open though, so I think we should create zones. I'm just gonna add in some columns and spandrels to highlight the area. I like you trying to justify us adding columns and spandrels like we do them for any other reason than we just like them. <laughs> we like them for a reason. <laughs> I want an island. It's literally gonna be right in the middle of the walkway. It is so big. But I want one. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Will you settle for a table that looks like an island? I like that table. Ooh, you do not want to see her when she doesn't get her island. Mm -mm. Usually in medieval kitchens, they have these giant brick ovens with a big old hood. I think we can kind of mimic that by sizing this one up. And it also hides the ivy. As they say, two birds, one oven hood. <laughs> that can't be what they say. But you didn't hear it with a medieval accent. Okay. As they say, do, do. I can't even do it. No, no, do it. <laughs> As they say, <laughs> my lord, do as the hawks fly, one of a dude. It sounds better that way, right? Yeah. It misses a lot in translation. I want to open shelves over there, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> That's cute what you're adding, but you are putting it on the only cooking cabinet. Nah, -uh, nah, -uh, there's a corner one. Because that always works it probably will probably 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 barrel trash can you've never been more needed than you are now how do you keep remembering these things we don't even have to remember light switches this time if we forgot a trash can they'd never let us live it down so this is dining Oh, if we had circle booths, this would be a dream. Don't say circle booths. <laughs> now that's all I'm going to think of. We're going to have to settle for a circle table. <laughs> fine. You don't sound fine. Fine. Can we use the Roman magic circle rug? Yes, but only particular swatch. I want a uh, moon. No, we are using the moons for a different room, you know? Oh, I know. You'll have to wait. I have the perfect picture for here. I have never seen that. Where is that from? <laughs> I think it's city living. Of course, I should have known. The curtains really help to soften up the rock, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. For once, we're actually using medium walls, so we can maybe get like one of the good chandeliers. How is it still too big? These are impossible. They are so cute, but because they have the candles, when you you size them down, the flames stay in the same position. This game hates us. I'm just gonna size this one with the fake candles up. And now that you've done that, what if we add one at the regular size and just turn it and then it'll look like the tiered ones we want. Forget you game, we can have whatever we want. Yeah, we can. This is a teeny living space. As long as we just use some small stuff, we should be fine. Is it even a castle if we don't put a fireplace in? Okay, let's just <laughs> dissect this. I said small things and your first thought is fireplace? I mean, if it fits. <laughs> Can we get a rug in here to get an idea of this color scheme? Usually we use the new version of this rug, but it comes in a worn version as well, which looks kind of perfect for this. I like that that picks up the red and the green from the other space. It's also gonna look sick with the tapestry. It's so sick. This table is blank. How about some more candles? There are now four sources of fire in this one room and not an alarm in sight. <laughs> <laughs> it's not medieval. <laughs> we can find an excuse to get rid of that thing from any build. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little spread instead. Yeah, you see this in medieval stuff all the time. Just tables covered in food. Did medieval people invent charcuterie? I'm gonna say yes, and I'm not gonna look it up. So you just have to believe me. <laughs> Perfect, done, it's time. It's the room we wanna do, the room we wanna do. <laughs> First off, I am popping in the boring ladder. Khan thought when they mentioned in the pack details that there was going to be stairs, that it would be spiral stairs. <laughs> yes, I did. You can't just keep guessing spiral stairs for every pack. Why not? I'm eventually going to be right. <laughs> but sadly, not today. If I can't get spiral stairs, I'm sure as heck gonna get a little library in here. Oh gosh, the bookshelves are massive. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to fall back to plan DIY. Shelves it is. Uh -huh. We can just fit the most perfectest little desk right here. If you actually download this build from the gallery, feel free to add a computer here if you want. But not us. The quill is just too good. It can't be resisted. Now I can put the moon rug in. Now you can put the moon <laughs> rug in. This book pile actually is stackable. I forgot it has a slot. How tall should we go? How tall can we go? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger castle. You know, it's a small thing that the Sims team has done that has changed our lives. What? Adding new colors to this base game book set. We use this <laughs> so much. Oh my gosh, they should totally add more swatches to the base game for the 10th anniversary. That is such an idea. Sims team, you can have that. This little memory box looks like a tiny treasure chest. Oh, a tiny castle. What about a tiny dragon too, who's guarding his tiny treasure? <laughs> I like that so much. I could only make a sound. I mean, there are no words. I like the magic vibes in here. We just can't help ourselves. If we're gonna go fantasy, there's gonna be a bit of magic. And up the ladder we go. This big area is gonna be the bedroom. So this could be a bathroom. This little area can be a dungeon. How would that even work? We are on the second floor. <laughs> Anywhere can be a dungeon if you just believe. <laughs> Worst motivational poster of all time. You just don't believe. Or we could have a space for clothes. Closed dungeon it is. AK, that's just a closet, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> nice that the vampire stuff looks so good with this kit. Yeah, vampires get together. Even Realm of Magic work really well with this one, especially with the no furniture thing. <laughs> one wall left. Do swords make sense? You're never fully dressed without your sword. <laughs> it's always the last thing you grab on your way out. I want the bedroom to be grand, even though it's idol. You know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Say it out loud. <laughs> Vampire bed. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear a terrible Twilight joke in 2024. This is the chandelier of a killer, Bella. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I don't think you can. Who do you think lives here? Oh, well, it's basically got starter castle vibes. So maybe uh, out on her own for the first time princess. Who's a witch? Yes, she can also be a witch. She was a fairy. <laughs> she was a witch. That's the sound I want for Ding Dong. That's got potential. Rug time again. Look at this. I'm looking. <laughs> this is one of those get famous rugs that has all the insane swatches. This rug and this rug. Same rug. How? Are we supposed to remember any of this is here? I am literally forgetting it as we speak. Ooh, single panel curtain looking so good. Oh, do you think it's big enough to cover that tiny window? <laughs> it's cutting it close. Can't you just imagine a bench here where they look out the window and read? I'm trying to imagine where they're gonna walk. You have no faith. You just need to believe in our Sims a little bit more. They'll be fine. <laughs> you know they won't. <laughs> they have never proven themselves. Not one time. We can even give them access to outside. Or what? Whatever they want to do. It's not my business. What are they going to do with one tile? <laughs> it's not my business. <laughs> the last medieval bath we did was like really moody and dark. This time I want to embrace that light, bright, royal vibe. So that's a no on the outhouse toilet. Get to your break this time. I mean, this window is begging for a tub to go underneath it. It needs something bold. Mm -hmm. It needs something unique. Uh-huh. Why don't you just say columns and spandrels? I'm doing columns and spandrels, okay? <laughs> but the new ones this time. Oh. We have to do them. Oh, right, right. That means we can just squeeze in a sink here. Planned. No, it's not. Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> okay, for real though. Toilet paper or no? No. Because of the vibes. Oh, then for sure, say no more. Of course. I was thinking about doing a rug under here, and then I was like, what if we use that stone inlay from high school years? It has a crest on it? We have to. Is this kind of done? Totally done. I was really worried that this level was gonna be too tiny to fit everything, but we got all the functional pieces and the cute stuff too. I am so happy with this. I wanna look at it all. We can! <laughs> <laughs> Looking for all the castle and none of the square footage, and maybe the Cozy Castle is the castle for you. <laughs> Sold. Wait, is it just so cute? The cutest. Something about a bunch of little spaces with things fitting just so. It makes me happy, 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 happy. We could build castles forever and have a ball doing it. Yup. Sure, I wish it was a game pack. So we had like a million more items, but I like this. I'm happy to have it. And if you want to get it too, you can use our code on the EA app. It is Karen and Connie, all one word. And we get a small percentage of the sale. TBH, we both individually purchased this kit and also both forgot to use our code. <laughs> so no worries if you don't do it. <laughs> but we really appreciate any support we get for the channel. If you like this video, give it a like. Also, think about subscribing. Could be cool. I've heard somebody told me that it is pretty awesome. <laughs> I will say who. Also comment below where you saw an urn. It's like a really weird Where's Waldo <laughs> that only you guys will like, but they'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.